Matucci's is the celebration of La Dolce Vita, serious food in a warm environment, but now they're switching it up and making some changes to their signature pasta. Joining us to tell us is, more is the Matucci's Minister of Culture, Howie Keibel, as well as their chef and partner, Sean Cronin. Welcome to the both of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for Appreciate being it. here. Let's jump right in. We love pasta. Yeah. Matucci's is known for their artfully crafted cuisines, but we're changing it up now. Why yes. the change for the pasta? I mean, the thing about Matucci's is we're always looking for how to get, become better, right? Like, we're never going to sit, like, and, and be happy with what we have. Like, we're these people that sit around and constantly go, okay, how do we get better and better? And in looking in, like, the semolina that we get, we were finding recipes from southern Italy that actually worked better with our pasta than with the northern Italian style that we were doing. Uh -huh. And the funny thing about it is it's a better texture, better flavor of just the noodle itself, which that's what pasta is. It's a celebration of the pasta noodle that happens to have some sauce or other stuff in the bowl. Sure, absolutely. That's what we were talking about this morning. Is, is it the actual pasta or is it the whole dish? It's yeah. the noodle itself. Yes. Talk with me about how this change is really going to benefit the guests and the yeah. pe people that come to Matucci's. So, I mean, besides the texture, like I said, texture and flavor, way better. Uh, the, uh, the funny thing about it is it's actually vegan now. Ah. So, because of it. So, we actually were able to tweak the recipe and after we made it without any egg at all, we tried it and we're like, oh, this is actually really good. Wow. So, and like I said, it's just depending on the flour. Every flour reacts different in every recipe and the one that we're using, that's what actually worked uh, for us really well. Okay, so it's going to be just an overall elevated pasta experience for all the guests, which yes. is great. Does this put any extra work on the Matucci's uh, provisions that you guys have? Tell me about that. Uh, I mean, luckily we've got an awesome team down there, man. Like there's, okay. there's about 17 people in that building that, I mean, from all the bread, all the pasta, the cheese, the shrub, everything, and, and even meat butchery. And they're, they're excited for anything that just makes that place better and better. Absolutely dedicated to the craft, which we all appreciate as those that enjoy the food. Where Where is this going to be rolled out? When is yeah. it rolled out? Where can we find uh, it? As of today, it's in all four of the restaurants. And we also are on New Mexico Harvest, which is like a local CSA. If you haven't been there, please go on to their website. A um, lot of different local producers, local farms, and then you can get our bread, our shrubs, our bacon, our pasta on there as well. All of that online as well. Yes, and then I know you guys have some of your uh, provisions in local Albertsons as well. Mm -hmm. So you can find the shrubs and the breads and all of and that And bacon there. sausage. And the yeah. bacon. The sausage. Thank goodness that we can get these in our local grocery stores if we can't make it to the restaurant. I know we're going to have a delicious cooking demonstration here in just a few minutes, but as we wrap up, where do we go for more information about Matucci's? Matucci's.com. You can also go to any of our uh, social channels. We're on Facebook and uh, uh, Instagram, TikTok. We're TikTok, everywhere. All over the place, making yep. it easy for us to follow you guys. Well, everyone stay tuned because when we come back, we are in the kitchen with Chef Sean Cronin, learning how to cook up some amazing stuff. For more on this interview, head on over to KRQE.com, click on the New Mexico Living tab. But like I said, stick around. We're going to be in the kitchen next.